happy. I'm so stoked. I love this show. Um, now I want to introduce you to Judea. At 17, she was crowned Miss Rodeo Cole Hill of Arkansas, making her the first black rodeo queen in the history of the state. Burr, burr, burr. She's modeled for Western brands like Wrangler, but it's her work with kids that really stands out. She regularly teaches children across Arkansas about livestock and agriculture, um, all while finishing her senior year of college, because that's not, <laughs> she just likes to be busy. Um, that definitely makes her a rad human as well. So meet everybody, Judea. Yes, so nice to meet you guys. Hi. <laughs> so, I mean, you look like I said it when you walked out here. I'm like, how someone has not made a movie, a TV show, how you are not, I don't, you are so freaking cute. And oh. so I love you. Um, <laughs> I, you walked out and I was like, what? You just seem happy. Oh. Um, but so Rodeo Queen, did you ever think you'd do that? Like be that? Um. No, no, I actually, it's not something that I ever thought I would do because I didn't grow up seeing a woman that looked like me doing it. Yeah. So I was like, when I was crowned in 2017, I actually went on Google looking for the woman that I needed to follow, the woman that looked like me. So I kind of just realized I needed to become that woman. So I kind of just have been doing that. And, you know, so I started rodeoing when I was six. Um, no, I, I started rodeoing when I was 13. I started riding horses when I was six. Yeah. This woman introduced me to horses and I always say that she put me in a saddle and she handed me the reins to my freedom. Um, my dad's been in prison my whole life. Um, wow. I was sexually assaulted when I was six, so that's what introduced me to horses. They become my freedom, my outlet. So I've kind of just took that and yeah. I started competitively rodeoing when I was 13. And when I was 15, I joined the dandies and I went through a lot of racism, you know, just being uh, on a team of 19 girls, I was the only black girl, you know, so, so yeah. crazy. But you know, it, it's so hard. Your whole story, you just said that really fast, but there was a lot in there that I'm just, first of all, so sorry about. Oh. Um, and just to have to go through that, but imagine now, you know, you went and Googled, now you're gonna be the one that they're yeah. all Googling. You're, you're such a pioneer and it's such a, <laughs> it's such a beautiful thing. <laughs> and it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and, I, and I'm so sorry about all that struggle. I will say it's, it's interesting that you, you know, landed with horses because I find horses very therapeutic. A lot of people do. There's equine therapy actually out there. Um, but well, you do a lot of work with kids. So can you tell us about your organization? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I do Ag for Kids. And for me, growing up in Fort Smith, Arkansas, like, you know, while Arkansas is, we're known for rice and farming, you know, it's not something that's in our schools. Agriculture is something that I actually had my senior year. I'd got offered a scholarship to go to Hack. It, which was 20 minutes from my hometown to judge horses and just do everything that's a part of agriculture and FFH. Yeah. Well, all of this stuff isn't in my school district, like in, in Fort Smith schools. So it's yeah. like, for me, it's important that kids know agriculture. Some kids go to Walmart and think that's where chickens and eggs come from, you know, and I'm personally connected with people that yeah. raise these animals. So I felt like I, I had to do stuff for my community and bring kids, you know, that wouldn't have access. I didn't come mm -hmm. from 10 acres and a mule. You know, I got to the Western industry as quickly as I could, but I had to work for it. You know, I'm the first one in my family to ever do anything like this. So I feel like it's important, like I say, a woman handed me the reins to my freedom when she put me in a saddle when I was six. So for me, it's introducing kids to something that could potentially change their life the way someone changed my life. You know, Absolutely. So, you know, so. You, you have a light about you. They're just, mm -hmm. you. It's, it's very, very cool. And my, by the way, my daughter lives, she just had to leave town to go see her daddy and she was so frustrated that she left her cowboy hat at home. Uh, like she lives, she loves her. her cowboy hat and her boots. I'm like, yeah. oh my gosh. Um, but today you have bigger plans beyond Rodeo Queen, right? Yeah, so I'm a senior at the University of Arkansas. I'm getting ready to graduate in May. Congratulations. Yes, yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wanting to go to law school. Oh, so, yeah. oh my God. And now you're gonna be a lawyer? Yeah, I wanna be what a criminal. Are you not gonna tackle in your life. So yeah, wow. I wanna be a criminal defense attorney, but like on top of that, I'm getting ready, you know, in January. It's been like a tough decision I'm in between with, but I'm I'm, run, I'm gonna run for mayor of Fort Smith, Arkansas. We've never had a woman mayor, so I'm gonna, why you not can me, do it. you know, so. I am, I am <laughs> full on believer that you can do anything. <laughs> oh my gosh, what, what big dreams and what, it's so funny, oh, and I saw my signature things, I always say dream big, like, man, you take that to the nth degree, I love it. Like, and now law school, that's so cool, I'm so proud of you, I just met you, but I'm so proud of you, and I'm so excited for you and your future, and, and we reached out to our friends at Bobcat, and they want to empower you to do even more great work in your community, so they're donating $5,000 to Ag oh for Kids. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you.